Previously on Predict the Six, Jenny was dealt a blow with the first void prediction of the series. <laughs> void prediction. <laughs> Doesn't he count? And my love for Dick Campbell was thwarted with the first handicap delivered this series. Okay, so we're going to make the fanboy cry. I'm going to choose our bro versus Queen of the South because fanboy here has clearly got a little thing for Dick Campbell. But now we're here. We're back for another episode of Predict the Six with Jenny, of course, and I've got one thing to bring up first. See this top of mine here and see this top of mine there? That is of the team that I support. I'm sick of this wee agenda that I'm a Closet St Martin fan or a Hibernian fan or any other fan for that fact. I'm a Dunfermline Athletic fan, I go to every single game and I don't like my loyalty being questioned. So for all that some of you are joking when you bring it up, please don't. It does my fucking head in. That'll probably mean they bring it up even more now, let's be honest. But, you've been told. Now on to predict the six, the more happy stuff. I am setting my light target. So, let's go for 57 likes. Do your thing. Brilliant. St Martin versus Aberdeen. The team that I am being accused of supporting here. Despite the fact they're playing black and white, it's nothing of the sort. I'm going to predict an Aberdeen thump in here. St Martin, even though you're kindly bringing me into your stadium, I am sorry, your reputation has been hindered by people accusing me of supporting another team. So, Aberdeen to absolutely thump St Martin here. I'm sorry to the genuine St Martin fans who know that I'm a Dunfermline Athletic fan. But... I can't know that. I need to stick up for my loyalties. Okay, so tonight when this video goes up, Partick Thistle and Dundee United are playing. Now, Partick Thistle, my boy Joe Cardell, he plays for them. However, I feel like it's going to be a Dundee United win with Nicky Clark and Lawrence Shanklin to score. Um, I swear you've said this like every... Every single time because that's the only players I know they play for a Dundee United. <laughs> but I'm going to say it's a Dundee United win and... Sorry Jo. She likes a bit of Jo Cardo. I do. Next up we've got another popular team on the channel, Wraith Rovers. We all know that we like to call them the wee team but for now we'll just be nice to them. Wraith Rovers versus Clyde this weekend. It's an interesting fixture because Clyde Started off the season relatively well, a wee draw with East Fife and Wraith Rovers had, as I've said many a time this week, an acceptable start against Dumbarton with a 1-0 away win and those are the type of results Wraith will be happy to keep picking up and I do think we'll pick up another one here, this is a home game so they will be looking to take more of the impetus in the game I imagine and go on to at least score a few goals this time rather than just win by the one goal deficit. Even though Clyde will be decent this season, as I said, Wraith will want to be up there at the end of the season. Up challenging for promotion with Falkirk and the likes. So, a good kind of number of goals deficit for Wraith Rovers, but ultimately, a Wraith Rovers win. Okay, so my second one is Cowden Beef versus Sterling Albion. I chose this game because my old employer... Yeah, employers. It really was my employer. <laughs> and the people you work for are your employers. Yes, so my old bosses actually come from Cowden Beef and my whole family supports Stirling Albion. Well, the plastics, but <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about Fake it. Fake fans. That's the reason why I chose this game. I feel like Stirling Albion will win this one just because Cowden Beef, in my opinion, are the small team. So yeah, for my family, I'm going to say Stirling Albion are going to win. Strong words from Jenny, they're very strong words. Plastic fans, they're a small club. Oof. You're no hurting back. And my last one for this week is a big tie down in England. I was going to try and keep the last word very much Scottish football based this season. The last word. The last word. <laughs> <laughs> the last word. <laughs> I was going to try and keep predict the six very Scottish football based this season and not really include much English games but I think I'll let myself off with the bigger English games and Man United versus Chelsea is just that. This season it's quite a contentious one because obviously you've got Ole Gunnar Solskjaer who 
Hasn't he fully been backed in the transfer window by the Man United board, etc. He's not been given the complete overhaul that Man United fans would have wanted, but he's still got a good amount of signings in the door and good players for what you would expect them to sign. Obviously, world record fee for a defender and Harry Maguire, Juan Bissaka, one of the best fullbacks in that league, and Daniel James as well, a young winger. So they've signed some decent players. Frank Lampard is obviously. The Chelsea manager as well, he's had a completely different summer because Chelsea can't sign anybody. And some players have actually left, like David Luiz, yesterday on transfer deadline day. So, it's a really kind of interest... <laughs> it's, really? It's, <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a really interesting fixture, this one, because after our strange summer for both of them, really, ones that they wouldn't have particularly asked for if given the ideal scenario. So. What would you say, Jenny? Man United or Chelsea? Or a draw? Well, I'm going to go for a draw. And my last one is Motherwell versus Celtic. We're bringing Celtic back this week. However, <laughs> <laughs> I personally think it's going to be a draw. I don't want to see, obviously Celtic are doing well and whatever. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it's going to be a draw. I have no explanations. You can add more onto it if you want. I personally, as the neutral, I'm going to say it's a draw. Well, Celtic just lost Kieran Tierney. Not that it really makes that much impact in things as they stand because Kieran Tierney's been injured for weeks now. They've obviously brought in a replacement for him in Bolly, Bolingoli, and Bombo. Try and say that again twice over. Obviously, Celtic are looking to be the stronger side going into this one despite Motherwell playing relatively well in Betfred Cup matches. They'll be looking to kick off the season well as well. Did you say a draw? I said a draw. Well, I, th I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with you. I don't think. I think it's quite a, quite a good prediction that one, and uh, I won't deviate you from it. I won't handicap you on that game. Let's just say. Thank you. So now to move on to the handicapping part of the video. If you want to know the rules behind the colours of these different things and stuff like that, it's all in the description below. There'll be a wee bit pop up on the screen right now of the wheels spinning round so that you can see all the colours, but. As I said, they're all put in the description below, so if you want to find out more about the general rules, look there. So we'll now go into the handicapping part of the video. Is it me or you first this week? You again. Me again. Well, I have chosen to handicap Patrick Thistle versus Dundee United. Don't really know why. I didn't want to handicap your draw, and I'm not that interested in getting beefy Star Albion, so I'm going to handicap the game that's going up hours after this video. So without further ado, let's spin that wheel. As per usual, I'll look away right now and then in about five seconds time I'll put my hand out there and stop it. So five, four, three, two, one. Your winner receives minus one goal. So the rules on that one are that in this game, Jenny has predicted the winner to be Dundee United. They start on minus one goal. So, the game starts Partick Thistle, nil, Dundee United, minus one. This basically means that Dundee United are one goal down going into this game. Let's just hope they pull through. For your sake. Right, what game are you handicapping me on? I'm going to handicap you on the Man United-Chelsea game. Okay, look, my draw. Come on, the Mo Salah. Let's go for Man United. The Mo Salah. Who do you think he plays for? <laughs> Shit, he plays for Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, okay, we're just going to see Man United's going to win. Right, you're handicapping it because Man United are going to win. Yes. Or do you think they're going to win? They are. Handicap me. Five, four, three, two, one. Set piece goals do not count. So, if a goal is scored from a penalty, a free kick, a corner kick, a throw in, which would never happen, a goal kick, which again would never really happen, then they don't count. So, if it was a draw? If it was a draw and. It was 1 1. Uh, if it was 1 1 and Chelsea scored a goal from open play and Man United scored a goal from a penalty kick, then. Chelsea would win and my prediction would obviously then 
not matter at all. It's a bad mistake to think Mo Salah plays for Man United when he actually plays for Liverpool, Jenny. Take it back, don't cover me in the comments. <laughs> well that's it for this week's video guys, cheers for watching. We've tried to kind of dumb it down a bit this week, obviously no go through the full rules on the wheel and stuff like that. If you want to see all the rules about that, as I said already, it's in the description below. It will be in every single episode of Predict the Six. So just go down there to find out about them. Like the video if you did enjoy it. What did you say? 57. 57 likes this week. Comment down below your predictions for all of these games that we've predicted ourselves. And if you're going to any games this weekend, what's your prediction for those games? Subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video, which will be the vlog for Dunfermline, my team, which is going to the south tomorrow. I'll see you then. Cheers, guys. And once again, I'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs>